Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build price and option a 2021 Range Rover SV Autobiography Long Wheelbase, as well as learn about the features and other Range Rover configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Originally conceived as a tool for getting work done around the farm, the Range Rover has had quite the glow up since its introduction in 1970, and it's now viewed as a luxury line limo for the stylish elite. As such, its accommodations have gone from Spartan to opulent, and the 2021 model is the most luxurious Range Rover yet. Fine leather, real wood trim, plush carpets, and a host of convenient features deck out every one of the Range Rover's many trims. Lower-end models offer quiet comfort, while the high-end SV Autobiography models are a performance pageant headlined by a burbling 557 horsepower supercharged V8 engine. What's the price for all this luxury? Well, the Range Rover lineup starts just under the six-figure mark, and that's before you get into the plethora of optional features and customization choices. Achieving the pinnacle in performance and luxury, the Range Rover SV Autobiography was meticulously designed and engineered by the team at Special Vehicle Operations, the Land Rover Center of Excellence. The SV Autobiography reaches new heights of agility and performance all while surrounding the driver in uncompromised comfort and luxury. This vehicle takes the timeless character of the iconic Range Rover family and infuses it with striking performance and agility to match its dynamic appearance. Inside, traditional British craftsmanship meets contemporary design, which culminates in an upscale environment that's sure to be appreciated by both drivers and passengers. Available in dynamic and long wheelbase variants, there's a Range Rover SV Autobiography trim level to satisfy even the most discerning luxury SUV buyer. Unique SV Autobiography exterior styling cues include a graphite Atlas front grille and graphite Atlas side vents, each finished with bright chrome inserts. Standard 21-inch five-split-spoke wheels with dark gray finish or available 22-inch Five split spoke wheels with diamond turn finish give this SUV a powerful stance. It's also available in a variety of bold, expressive exterior colors to help reflect your own unique personality. Premium LED headlights with signature daytime running lights provide superior illumination to improve visibility. The Range Rover SV Autobiography stands out from the crowd for its meticulous attention to detail. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2021. Range Rover SV Autobiography Long Wheelbase. That's one of the top tier trim levels you can get for the Range Rover. But listen, real quick, before we get started, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links in the description below. What SUVs compete with this $200,000 plus SUV. Well, it just so happens that over the last week or so, or a couple of weeks or so, I've done build and price reviews of the uh, 2021 Aston Martin DBX. I did a build and price review of the 2021 Rolls Royce Cullinan. And I did a build and price review of the 2021 Bentley Bentayga. Now, all these vehicles are British, including the Range Rover. I think they are all closely matched. And honestly, yep, the Aston Martin has an MSRP of about $190,000. The Rolls-Royce Cullinan, about $330,000. The Bentley Bentayga, I think it's about $170,000. And honestly, for the money, I just recently did the Aston Martin, most recently, the DBX. And I was very uh, dissatisfied with that, that with that SUV. I certainly think this Range Rover SV Autobiography, even though we're not looking at one directly right now, uh, is certainly uh, a better value and just as luxurious as any of those high-dollar, uber-exclusive names like Aston Martin, Rolls-Royce, and Bentley. And so that's why we're going to do this build and price of an SV Autobiography. But before we actually <clears throat> jump to the configurator and do all that, we need to learn about all the features of a Range Rover, and yet we're going to check out all the other configurations. We'll go check out, take a look at them, see what the MSRPs are, find out what their features are, also check the MSRP of our SV Autobiography. Matter of fact, let's go do that now. 
Okay, so we're on the page where you can see all the different configurations of Range Rover. We're on the actual, they have standard wheelbase and they have long wheelbase. I just clicked over to the long wheelbase page. Here we can see right off the bat the special edition uh, Range Rover Westminster edition for $117,500. Uh, it comes with a 5-liter V8 gas engine that makes <clears throat> 518 horsepower. Uh, moving on from that, you've got the Range Rover Autobiography. Uh, also gets that same 5-liter V8 gas engine. Uh, it starts at $151,000. It comes with its uh, set of key features here. Uh, and then lastly, well, no, not lastly, you have the Range Rover Autobiography 50th edition, right? You got a little special model here, again, with a 5-liter V8 gas engine. And then at the top of that tier, and the one we're going to build in price on the channel today, is the Range Rover <clears throat> SV Autobiography. It's $211,000. It, ha it, too, has a 5-liter V8 gas engine, but this engine makes 557 horsepower. Either way you go, they limit the top speed to 130 miles an hour in the th these things, and they're not about going fast. But they're about getting there in style for sure. Lots of key features, heads-up display, four-zone climate control. Already talked about you got two styles of 21-inch wheels you can choose from. Uh, you got the Meridian sound system, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You got the quilted uh, interior. I showed a shot of that already, but we're going to go check out some more gallery photos. But uh, before we do all that, let's go see some of the other configurations, some of the lower configurations of this Range Rover. So standard wheelbase, so your, 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 your entry level, your base model Range Rover is going to start at $92,000, and you're going to get the 3-liter three liter, uh, inline 6 engine that makes 355 horsepower. That's where you're sitting, and you're going to get a nice, you're going to get 19-inch wheels, you get leather seats, you get the Apple CarPlay, you get a lot of driver assist features, you get a lot of inter interior features, 3-zone climate control. Uh, all that kind of stuff. You get the uh, premium LED headlights under exterior features, uh, sliding panoramic roof. And so you're getting some good features, but uh, that's where we start. $92,000, that's your base model. Then they've got the Range Rover HSE. It's $97,000. Now you're up to 20-inch wheels, and you've got a selection of engines. You can get a 2-liter engine or a 3-liter diesel engine. And this is your, uh, I guess they give you like a, maybe is this a hybrid engine? Yeah, because it says PHEV for the engine. Might be some kind of gas and electric engine. Uh, then they have a short wheelbase Range Rover Westminster Edition. That starts at 103.5. Uh, then you got, a range, you got a short wheelbase Range Rover Autobiography for 131, 131,000. And then you've got the Range Rover Autobiography 50th Edition, short wheelbase. It's 148.5. And then at the top of that tier, well, I think there's one more above this. You got the Range Rover SV Autobiography uh, Dynamic. This is a short wheelbase. It's 179,500. Uh, and then, yeah, and then you have a black edition. So you've got the Range Rover SV Autobiography Dynamic. So I guess the short wheelbase is, is, is automatically a dynamic. And this happens to be the black edition version. So it's a little more uh, money. It's $183,000. And yeah, that seems to be the top tier for our standard wheelbase. Okay, so we went over the different trim levels and configurations, and we saw their price points and all that. Now what I want to do is I want to go over all the different features in general for the Range Rover so we can find out different features and all that. And so basically after we get done with the features, we'll check out a couple other things, and then we'll actually get into our build. Okay, so let's talk about design features for the 2021 Range Rover. Uh, one of the things they want to tell us is about the premium LED headlights. Uh, yeah, you get the LED headlights, and you get also uh, the signature daytime running lights as well. Uh, then they're talking about the rear executive class seats. Those do look quite nice. I'd rather be in the driver's seat, but yep. That looks pretty great, the rear executive class seats. Um, I don't know if our long wheelbase uh, SV autobiography automatically comes with this package. But, uh, yeah, I, I, even if it does or not, I'd still rather be in the, passenger, in the driver's seat no matter what. Uh, so, yeah, greater comfort. And then they're talking about this passenger environment here. They've got their, their highlight here is the configurable ambient lighting, your choice of 10 colors. Uh, the, the, the illumination is designed to highlight the design features and create a truly unique and relaxed environment. 
oh, right, there's the couple of dish, special editions. There's the Westminster edition, and then there's the SV Autobiography edition. Uh, Dynamic, sorry, that's the short wheelbase. SV, Auto, SV Autobiography Dynamic Black Edition. So everything gets got kind of blacked out. You get special wheels and all that stuff there. Let's talk about technology features. Here they're talking about the adaptive cruise control. Uh, and then one of my favorite features, heads-up display. Now, do I think this heads-up display is the best in the business? No, I think BMW has that. But at the end of the day, I just love heads-up display. Here's some other features they want to tell us about, like uh, infotainment features. Uh, like their uh, in-car infotainment system is called Touch Pro Duo. It looks and performs like no other. Uh, it features innovative and advanced integrated technologies. Uh, here they're talking about their range of engines. We know that we're going to get the 5 liter engine that makes 557 horsepower. So, you know, yep, plug-in hybrid. They make diesel engines and regular gas engines. So just so we know, there's a range of engines for this Range Rover line. Here they're talking about refined performance, uh, carefully engineered technologies, their terrain response to, which is their all off-road, all-wheel drive, that kind of stuff, four-wheel drive system and all that. Uh, here, going on with that, they're talking about their off-road capability. That's one thing about Range Rovers and Land Rovers. They look beautiful. They have lots of luxury. But if you really need to take them off-road, really get them in the dirt, really get them in the mud, they're fully capable of actually doing that. Uh, here they're talking about driver aids uh, and stuff like that. And then they've talked about comfort and convenience, like, you know, four zone climate control, uh, the Meridian sound system, cabin air filter, and things of that nature. Let's find out about the versatility. Here is the activity key, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, this allows you to uh, put this on and it acts as your key instead of carrying around some keys so if you're out on a jog or hiking or something like that anything where maybe carrying a set of keys isn't really the uh, really conducive to what you're doing you got this activity key just don't lose this bad boy right uh automatic hike access right you got an air suspension on this on this vehicle and can lower the vehicle by 1.9 inches for additional convenience so it makes it easier to get in and out, things like that. That's why oftentimes you'll see these things sitting down really low. It's not because there's something wrong with the air suspension. That's just because uh, that's it's parked, and that makes it easier to get in and out. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, it, I used to not I used to not like these Range Rovers, but I come to think these are absolutely gorgeous, beautiful vehicles. Uh, and here they're talking about the intelligent storage. Uh, there's deep storage in the center console. There's an optional uh, refrigeration compartment. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that's pretty cool. Here they're talking about comfort and convenience and like seating options. Uh, there's uh, such things as 16-way heated front seats. You got the 60-40 rear bench to a 24-way heated and cool massage front seats with rear executive class seating, which we saw that, the executive class seating. Uh, so what else do they have? Is that all they want to tell us there? Yeah, I guess so. What else is there? There's an automatic sun blind. Uh, what else is there? Hot stone massage seats. Optional, obviously. There's 25 programs to that. I'm not really into that, but you might be. I'm sure our SV Autobiography comes with its standard. Uh, there's a cabin air ionization, you know, so you can purify the air and probably make it smell good and reduce uh, pollutants and stuff that you're breathing while you're traveling in your very nice exclusive SUV. Okay, so let's talk about capability here. They're talking about the, uh, the terrain response to here. Uh, they're giving us a little more information, like uh, they're using the word available, which lets us know that this is not a standard feature depending on what trim level of uh, Range Rover you're getting. Uh, this thing adapts to your vehicle's in it adapts to the response of your vehicle's engine and gearbox depending on your driving conditions. There's certain driving. There's seven different driving modes, including an eco mode, a rock crawl mode, a snow gravel grass mode. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. And here again, they're talking about the electronic uh, air suspension. And then here's the all terrain progress control which enables you to set and maintain a steady speed in challenging conditions uh, such as mud, grass, and all that. And so you can travel between 1 and 18 miles an hour. So that way, the engine will just putter along at a, whatever set speed, and then you can concentrate on, like, 
you know, steering through obstacles and all that there. I think that's a nice feature. All right, let's talk about performance features here. Uh, they're talking about the adaptive dynamics. Basically, you know, the vehicle is monitoring the vehicle movements. Uh, the computer is monitoring the vehicle movements and making adjustments to the suspension. So all you really feel is a smooth ride. That's our basic takeaway of all of that. Uh, dynamic response. What's that all about? It's standard on V8 equipped engines. And it improves vehicle handling through hydraulic roll control. Uh, so I guess that's stabilization. So when you're going over turns and through corners and stuff like that, the vehicle's not really leaning and things like that. I think that's quite nice. Here they're talking about the active rear locking differential, which delivers improved cornering stability on road and refined traction uh, with limited slip, with limited wheel slip off road. Under sustainability, they've got uh, this intelligent stop start system. So they're, they're hybrid vehicles use what is considered to be the next generation of stop start technology. Uh, all the, the Range Rover has an aluminum architecture. Uh, the results and performance benefits uh, and lower CO2 emissions, etc. Uh, a life cycle approach, what's that all about? They're just basically telling us that the vehicle uses more sustainable materials, uh, produces less waste, uses fewer natural resources, yet they are still able to give us a beautiful vehicle. And the vehicle is what they say, 85% recyclable and 95% recoverable. So I guess at the end of its life cycle, they'll still be able to use, uh, reuse a lot of things instead of putting it in a landfill somewhere. Let's talk about safety and driver assist features, or let's look at them really quick. Uh, there's a few. We've got the latch system. That's about, you know, car ch uh, car seats and child uh, seats and stuff like that. So they get latched into the back seats. You got airbags. Well, that's good. You got seat belts. Also good. Check. Awesome. We got seat belts. <laughs> emergency braking, electronic traction control, and emergency braking assist. All right, let's check out some of the technologies of the 2021 Range Rover, starting with the infotainment technologies. We'll just go through these real fast. Hidden until lit switches. The steering wheel has, has hidden until lit touch-sensitive switches, one of which can be programmed to your personal preferences. That's kind of cool. There, they're talking about the optional rear seat entertainment. Provides two 10-inch high-definition seat-mounted uh, articulating touch screens, uh, headphones, remote. It does USB, HDMI ports, all of that. Uh, here, they're talking about voice recognition. That's pretty cool. Uh, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, check. We knew that. Uh, here they're talking about Pro Services, provides everything from inf information based on real-time traffic flow to door-to-door -to -door navigation, all right? Uh, and then Protect, what is this all about? This allows you to check fuel prices, find your car, find your parked rain ro Range Rover, uh, it'll let you know if you've left a window open, things like that. Let's find out about the uh, Meridian sound system. So you got your basic sound system that's got 13 speakers. And then you got the Meridian surround sound system that is, is consists of 19 speakers. And then you got the top tier Meridian signature sound system. It's got 29 speakers. Uh, here they're under innovation. They're talking about the Range Rover, their, their plug-in hybrid technology stuff. Got it. We're not really into that because we're we're building a very gas engine here. But noted, noted, Range Rover's up on the hybrid technology. All aluminum body, check. We got that from before. And then there's something called iGuide. Uh, it's an app that uses the latest augmented reality technology to explain all the need-to-know features and controls of your vehicle. Huh. It also doubles as a mobile owner's manual, ensuring you always have the answer to any question at hand. Now that's pretty clever. Okay, here we're under performance, and they've got some. Uh, they've got four things they're trying to tell us here. Let's start over here on the left. They're talking about speed lowering. So this system uses the air suspension to reduce aerodynamic drag and fuel consumption at cruising speeds by lowering the vehicle by half an inch from normal ride height when the speed reaches 65 miles an hour. And then if you if you've got one that has a, a hybrid motor. Uh, there's a large capacity battery in the Range Rover, which enables it to drive solely on that said electric motor. 
Uh, over here, they're talking about dynamic mode. Uh, and this setting is part of the terrain response, and it gives you a firmer suspension setting to accommodate a more dynamic driving style. That means if you want to start to try to get all sporty with it, <laughs> then you want to have that. Uh, and then there's comfort mode, also part of the terrain response, and this delivers premium levels of comfort on road. So this is going to give you your soft, most luxurious uh, uh, road absorbing uh, settings. Okay, let's talk about uh, capability now. Let's move on to that. Where are we at here? Uh, there's a two-speed uh, transfer case that gives you pre precise speed and control in such instances as you as off-road uh, off-roading or towing. Should you need to do that? There's a low traction launch. Uh, so when you move from standstill, what this does is designed to enhance capability in slippery conditions like gra wet grass snow and ice so the vehicle is probably doing a lot less slippage uh there's an advanced tow assist i tell you what i'm gonna if i'm spending two hundred eleven thousand or even ninety seven thousand dollars on my suv i'm not doing any towing i'll buy a truck for that if i really need to uh and i certainly if i did any towing it certainly wouldn't be this big camper back here at any rate they got an advanced towing assist uh that allows you to control the direction of your trailer when reversing uh, by using the rotary terrain response to controller, uh, etc. Uh, there's a hill descent control, which is a standard feature, and that's designed to assist the driver with controlled descent and difficult slopes so the vehicle doesn't get rolling too fast. I think that's also a great feature. Here's some standard driver aids for the 2021 Range Rover. You've got uh, emergency braking, lane keeping assist, front and rear parking aid, and cruise control with speed limiter. Okay, we got something called the driver assist pack. It's an available option, which means it's not standard. It might probably be on our SV autobiography. But at any rate, it's a driver assist pack, which contains the most comprehensive suite of drive and park technologies. Uh, let's find out. So it looks like they have them in varying levels. So it looks like you got your base drive pack. It's As I said, it's optional. And it gives you features like... Uh, blind spot monitor with closing vehicle sensing, traffic sign recognition, ad adaptive speed limiter. And then from there, they got this Drive uh, Pro Pack. And it gives you things like it also has blind spot assist, adaptive cruise control, stop and go, high speed emergency braking. And then this Park Pack has even more stuff. So it's got a clear exit monitor alert for backseat passengers. Uh, and all that when approaching cars and cyclists, so that way you don't open the door into that kind of traffic. Uh, you got a 360 parking aid and rear traffic monitor. So they, bun they, they, they bundle all the things you want across several packages, so that makes you want to buy everything. So what's the pack, the Park Pack Pro? So this is all about uh, being able to make parallel and perpendicular parking easier, and so that's what the Park Pack Pro is about. So they got a lot of different uh, packages here. And you might want all of them. Let's talk about comfort and convenience features, uh, like the available uh, heated and cool seats, the extreme passenger seat away. What is that? It's a, it includes a one-touch button to move the front row passenger seat into the most extreme position furthest away from the rear occupant, thereby making it easy to get out. God, or making it easy to for the person to get out or for them to uh, what extend their legs with that rear seat package. Here they got the center console refrigerator, cool. Uh, enhance task lighting. Rear passenger have the option. Rear passengers have the option of two settings: bright white light and warm white light, each with multiple levels of brightness. So that way you can see a little bit better back there. And I guess that has to maybe do with this whole executive package back here, because maybe you might be working in the back seat and you need extra bright white light. Other notable comfort and convenience features, you got the four-zone climate control. That's not standard, but it is with our SV autobiography, of course. Uh, here they're talking about the connectivity. You got up to seven USB ports, power and data, HDMI, tw uh, 12-volt auxiliary power. Uh, yeah, they got you covered on connectivity. Uh, power gesture tailgate, cool. Soft closed doors, awesome. All right, let's talk about options and accessories. They say not all options will be available in all models. Uh, so what they got a black exterior package. Basically, everything that would have probably been chrome and bright work is going to get blacked out, like the grill, the mirror caps, the side vents, and all that. Then they got this shadow exterior package, which provides specific detailing to 
elevate the sense of Range Rover sophistication. Includes a shadow atlas hood uh, and tailgate lettering, grill detail, front bumper vent, etc. You got this entertainment pack for driver and passengers. This is going to give you your uh, Meridian surround sound system. You get a CD, DVD player, and you get the rear seat entertainment, digital TV. Uh, and then they've got the towing pack here. That's going to give you your towing hitch. They call it a electrical. They call it the towing pack. It's just the trailer hitch receiver and the wiring and all of that. Going on here, they're talking about some exterior options like these distinctive wheels in sizes from 19 to 22 inch wheels, uh, a sliding panoramic roof, uh, interior options here where they talk about the rear bench seat. You can have a rear executive class seat. Uh, finishers are talking about the veneers, the kind of woods you can get. Uh, the seating is designed and created with the utmost comfort in mind. The Range Rovers are available in a choice of fine leather or textiles. Uh, you can get hot stone massage, shoulder support. Here they're talking about interior colorways. Uh, just the different colors that you can have, I guess. Metal finishes, the soft leathers, and all that. And then the interior packs. We went over the interior packs already. But uh, let's move on. I think there's a few other things on this page. Uh, technology. What do they want to tell us about the technology? Oh, we already learned about this technology, like the infotainment and all that there. And okay, so going back to that page, the last thing they had on here was just telling us a few about a few Land Rover accessories, like the pet packs. Uh, look, they even have a ramp. Click and go systems, like for uh, things that uh, affix between the headrests, attachments can be added to whole tab tablets, bags, jackets, deployable side steps, roof carrying accessories. So yeah, lots of accessories to be had with the Range Rover. All right, you know what? I think we've done everything. Let's go over to Configurator and spec out our SV Autobot. You know, we didn't really look at these. Uh, there's a few gallery images. We kind of looked at them in the beginning. These are about the, auto the SV Autobiography basically so let's just go through these. There's just nine gallery images. Let's just flip through them really fast. Here they're just showing the leather, the seats, the wood veneer. Uh, yeah, yeah, just they're actually they're just showing different editions here. Here's the SV Autobiography Dynamic and, and Ferenz Red. Yeah, look at that. Now here is the SV Autobiography Dynamic with the dynamic quilting. Obviously the long wheelbase is going to have that same interior and it's absolutely stunning. We're all about it. Here, they're just showing some different ones. Here, you can get it all in black. This one's the black edition, but you can probably option the regular one with all black interior if you wanted to. Here, they're showing the dual tone paint, which is very classy. And wow, wow, look at the rear seat design for the uh, Range Rover SV Autobiography. Is that not gorgeous or what? And like I said, I don't care. Aston Martin, Rolls-Royce, Bentley, Bentayga, it doesn't matter. I think the Range Rover SV Autobiography is gorgeous and easily competes with any of those. And it's better than all of them, honestly. Okay, so now we're ready to build. Here we are, Range Rover SV Autobiography, starting MSRP, $211,000. Let's go ahead and click this tab, build your own, and spec ours out. Okay, here we are. So, we can do two things. We can get the standard wheelbase or long wheelbase. I said we were going to get the long wheelbase. Why it's starting us at $117,000, I'm sure we're going to have to select the model. Yeah, I see the model down here. So, we got to start at the model, or we start at the body style. So, long wheelbase. Then we're going to select the SV Autobiography engine, right? That's going to automatically jump us to the MSRP of $211,000 when we select this engine because it's the only one that gets this engine, SV Autobiography. And then, so yeah, it says, what model do you want? There's only one to be had. It's the SV Autobiography. All right, let's select it, long wheelbase. And the first things to do is to check the color. So this color here is Fuji White. We have Santorini Black. Yulong White, Rosello Red, there's this Byron Blue, Iger Gray, Portofino Blue, we saw that in the gallery image. They've got the Silicone Silver, Carpathian Gray, I think they also showed that, and Aruba. 
Now, there should be some duotone paints down here. They got a lot of paint colors, don't they? Yes, yeah, special paints. Yeah, they got a lot of paints. Then they got the duotone paints. So we're not going to necessarily click on all these paints. Like, I am curious what is what they think this Madagascar orange would look like, though. No, I don't think so. Velocity blue. No, I don't think so. These are expensive paint colors. These are plus $4,500 uh, for these paint colors here. What's ethereal? What does that look like? What does ethereal look like? That's not bad looking. What about, uh, and then you can add different finishes to it, like a gloss finish or a matte finish. Uh, verbier silver. Right, and see, here's what's cool about Range Rover. Their configurator is nice. It's not too much. Uh, Aston Martin and Rolls-Royce and Bentley, they're very confusing. They're over the top. Uh, but these are nice. These are nice. Let's see what these two-tone colors look like. How about the Iger Gray? Mm. How about the Balmoral Blue and Black here? That's interesting. The Portofino? No. How about the Yulong White? No. How about the Rio Gold? What might that look like? Mm, how about Desire? Wow, plus $18,000 on these paint colors, too, on top of all of that. And I'm not really crazy about any of them. How about this Spectral Racing Red for $23,000? Wow. Huh. Interesting. What about Aruba and Silicone Silver? Now, that looks all right. The Aruba and Silicone Silver look good. What about the Iger Gray and Carpathian Gray? Also nice looking. I like the Aruba, Sil Aruba and Silicone Silver. It looks pretty nice to me. What about the Maribel White, though, real fast? Mm, I don't think so. Let's stick with this Aruba Silicone Silver. I think that looks good. Uh, the next step looks to be these visual packs. And what's that? We can get the body colored side vent graphic with chrome inserts which is what's selected, or you get the Atlas side vent graphic with chrome inserts. Uh, now, this, uh, this there's a triangle here, and so what is that telling us? That's at, We have to add Fuji white, and we have to remove that paint if we wanted to do the Atlas side vents, and so, no. Thanks for sparing us clicking on that to find that out. So we're going to leave the body-colored side vents. So I thought now was a good time for us to try to do a little 360 walk around of our Range Rover SV autobiography uh, with our little uh, with our little paint scheme that we got on here. Okay, that looks all right. Let's uh, let's move on to wheels now. Uh, we've got some wheel options. We've got these 21 inch wheels now. I think I wanted 22 inch wheels though. I did. I wanted some 22 inch wheels. Uh, which ones do we have? We have the Style 706. And so let's see what the let's see what these 22 style these 22 inch wheels right here look like. Those are okay. How about these down here? Uh, those look all right. How about these split spokes with the gloss dark? Uh, those look a little better. Those look those look okay. I think they match the paint a little bit better. We're gonna do these 22 inch style uh, 9012s, uh, nine split spoke wheels. We're gonna do those. Let's move on to the next step which is going to be the interior. And they've got several uh, categories of the interior. We're going to try to keep this a little bit simple. I'm not going to go over the top with it. Uh, I'm not going to uh, check out every color, although it says this vintage tan. Some of these ones that have uh, triangles probably want to remove our paint. Uh, let's see. Adding this leather perforated requires us removing a different headliner. Okay, so it won't have anything to do with our exterior paint. So let's check out this vintage tan. I'm just kind of curious on what that looks like. That's actually not bad looking, but I'd like to have dark rugs on that, so I'm not really feeling that. Uh, how about, um, hmm, let's see what this uh, navy and Sirius or looks, or Sirius looks like, or whatever it's called. I don't know, I'm not even really sure. That's actually quite attractive, isn't it? That is quite attractive. Let's do that. Let's just go with that. I like it. Let's go with it. Right? I don't want to make it too over the top. Too. I don't want to keep going over and over it too long. All right. So the headliner. What color headliner? I guess we have. Uh, we've got that Cirrus headliner. Can we get it? If we do the ebony headliner, do we have to? Oh, we have to remove our quilting if we want to do that. I guess we have to do this Cirrus leather headliner. Otherwise. Uh, that's the only option. All right, let's go to the finishers. That should be our veneers. Yes, that's our veneers. Which ones do we like? Now, the one we have is the Satin Santos. 
Now, what is this one that's telling us what? We have to add. We have to add a leather steering wheel with that one. Okay. Uh, how about the Madagascar or Mascar veneer? It looks a little darker. I might like that. Yeah, that looks better. That looks way better. That looks way better. Let's go with the figured Mac Macassar veneer. Like, if I'm butchering these names, I just am. Uh, let's see about this configurator. Take a little uh, 360 spin around the interior real fast. I think that looks pretty nice in there, don't you? Yeah, that looks really nice. That wood has a nice shine on it. Uh, the carpets are dark. And yeah, you do automatically get the executive seating package with the SV autobiography, at least with the long wheelbase at the very least. Okay, moving on, we have our choice of steering wheels, either with wood or without. I think we're going to leave ours with wood. Uh, and so we can also, so we have wood and leather steering wheel, and we also have it heated as well. Let's move on now to options. What options do we want? What options are there to have? Yeah, that's what I thought. We've got a SV autobiography, long wheelbase. There should be nothing, really. There's different just little packages like floor mats and things like that. Uh, I like that. That works. You get the sunshade, the premium interior protection pack. For 700, yeah, that works. Let's let's take a look at that. Uh, what else might I want? I like the uh, front and rear mud flaps. I like that. Uh, so yeah, these are just all accessories. Deployable side steps. Um, I don't know if I want those. I don't think so. I don't think we need those. Let's go to the next step. What else? They they got exterior features. Uh, heated windshield. Do we want that? Yeah, why not? That sounds very cool, actually. Let's get the heated windshield. It's a no cost option. Uh, wheels and tires. Do we want a full size? I'd like a full size spare. That's me. Give me a full size spare. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Additional changes made. Change. Okay. All right. That's just nothing. They didn't do anything. All right. Got it. Uh, what else is there? There's deployable tables with wood finish. I don't think we need those. Uh, what else is there? The weight sensing. What is weight sensing? Oh, that's going through the water, deep water and all that. Yeah, let's do that. You never know. Like I said, this thing's all about the all about being hardcore. And we're and we're two hundred and thirty two thousand dollars in it into this now. Let's not throw it away for three fifty. You get it? Uh, we're too far in. What else is there? Convenience stuff. We want that cabin air ionizer. Sure, why not? I do like that activity key. Yes. I like that. Power deployable cargo space floor with carpet finish. Um, I don't think I need all that. They got it with the wood floor. Look at the look at the tables, the seats. This is the this vehicle is just as high end as any Aston Martin, Rolls Royce, or Bentley. I'm telling you right now, just with these little features at the end here. Do we need the refrigerator? Nay, we don't need that. Let's go to the next step. Uh, they're showing accessories. Uh, we don't need these little things, carriers and whatnot. Let's move on. What else do they have? Tow hooks, things like that. Let's just finish up through here. They got different kinds of mud flaps and deployable steps and mirror covers. Nah, we don't need that. Uh, they've got the wireless phone charging cup holder. Well, don't we have that already? What about these sill tread plates? That these sill tread plates illuminated. Those look very nice for 960. Let's get those bad boys. But there's other ones. Oh, you can get them with your name on them. I don't. I don't need to do that. The gear shift paddles, those are cool. Let's do ours in aluminum. Uh, what else is there? Waterproof seat covers, click and go base for your thing, for your seats. If you want to do things like uh, get the hangers and, and hooks and whatnot, uh, we're not doing all that. We're not doing all that. Uh, let's go to the next step. What else is there? This is for towing. Uh, I'm not putting anything on the roof of my $234,000 SUV. Uh, nope, 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 nope. All good there. Uh, safety accessories, uh, battery tender, and a triangle. <laughs> no. Uh, and then optional wheels. We already got the wheels that we wanted. The wheel locks, things like that. Uh, they got snow chains. Nah, we're going to finish the build. We're done with the build. Wow, that was a lot, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. But we got through it. A lot easier than the other ones, Aston Martin, Rolls Royce, and Bentley. I'll tell you what. Okay, so we started at $211,000. We did everything we wanted to do, and now we're out the door at $234,330.48 for our 2021 Range Rover SV Autobiography Long Wheelbase. Yeah, looks pretty nice. I like it. You know what? 
on that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this review of the 2021 Range Rover SV Autobiography Long Wheelbase helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the very next video.